great. Good morning, Bob. Good Wonderful morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, would you like to tell everyone a little bit about yourself? So my name is Bob Wolf. Um, I've been in the field of aging since 1977. Uh, I was one of the first attorneys to specialize in legal problems of the aged um, and spent the majority of my career doing not-for-profit work, policy work, and philanthropic advising in the field of aging. Currently work for the New York Academy of Medicine and a large but anonymous foundation that is one of the larger funders of aging services and programs. Great, wonderful to have you here. So if you were advising the next president, what would you tell him or her to do politically to, to tackle healthcare issues? So I'm gonna stick with my area of expertise and my area of passion, which is aging. And what strikes me is that we talk about the global crisis regarding the environment, the green crisis, but we don't talk a lot about the gray crisis, which is a global crisis of enormous proportions. The globe is turning older. There are more older people alive today than have ever existed in the history of the world in total. This is the first time in human history there are more older people than younger people. And the replacement rate, which is the number of young people being born who will earn wages and um, create both economic, social, familial supports for older adults is dwindling. And it is a global crisis of epic proportion. And while there is incredible amounts of innovation and disruption of services in the field of the environment, there is very little innovation um, and very little new models and very uh, few examples of social entrepreneurship in the field of aging. And even organizations like Echoing Green and Ashoka, which promote social entrepreneurship by my own informal headcount, less than one half of one percent of those new entrepreneurial programs look at issues of aging, whereas there are hundreds and hundreds of new innovative programs to address the environmental crisis. So since we live in a global economy and we look at political issues globally, I think the global issue of an aging world needs to be addressed by America as a world leader. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Bob, and have a wonderful day at the conference. Thank you.